Hi, this is Teresa from Humanitarians, and the reason um, I put a lot of emphasis on management is because it was, it was one of the things I saw that most people struggled with when I was on the field, when I was in HQ, and also it's one of the things that I struggled with most. Um, management is, is, is much more challenging in a humanitarian context for obvious reasons. I mean, you might think it isn't, but it, but it, but it is, um, because... Management is difficult anyway, but when you add on other challenges like the places that we work in, um, the type of people that we work with, let's say, um, the fact that there's a lot of rotation, there's a lot of different, um, and the types of problems that, that arise when you're doing humanitarian work that don't arise in more, let's say, conventional managerial scenarios, right? So. Um, it requires a lot more than knowing how to plan, <laughs> you know, or, you know, a lot of people, um, because I did a lot of interviews when I was in, um, in my position before about how people saw what their main challenges were on the field. And they always said people management, you know, and um, what I would say to that is that it's not about it is about people management, but management is so much more than people management. And you can't kind of separate it off. Right. Because. Uh, as people management is one thing and then the rest of management is another thing because it's all integrated at the end of the day. And it doesn't matter what kind of management you're doing, whether it's security, whether it's um, people or whatever, or logistics, it's still management, right? And management has, is multifaceted. Uh, it, it, it requires a lot of different things. It requires a lot of different skills. But what it has in common, it has... Uh, people and things, right? So you're managing people and things to do something, to get something done, right? And then there's a thousand ways to do that. Maybe not a thousand, but there's certainly not one way to do it. And I think that's the thing to, 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 to understand. If you are a manager with good skills in management and leadership, in theory, you should be able to manage anything, anyone, anywhere, right? Especially if you've done humanitarian work. I mean, if you're anybody who goes into, into the private sector after humanitarian work, it's like, okay, this is the same or similar, but very different at the same, um, at the same time, no? So uh, the important thing, like with anything, is, is to understand, okay, what are the... Uh, components of management and leadership. I don't think they should be separated. Um, so that no matter where I go, I have enough grounding to be able to adapt to whatever it is I have to do, get done, wherever it is I have to do and get it done. So um, what we're about here is um, not teaching uh, a specific methodology but to highlight the types of things that as a manager you need, and a leader, you need to work on always, right? That I've seen people know that, that, that think that, okay, um, I'm a good manager, the feedback is good. Uh, I would say two things to that. Um, there are very few good managers uh, and also don't take too much stock of, man of feedback because uh, a lot of, most people don't know how to do to give feedback properly and it's more tends to be feedback tends to be more about personality and how how much they like you or how much they like working with you doesn't mean necessarily you're a good manager management is about performance at the end of the day right uh, whether you're able to uh, produce a team uh, that performs well in a given context yeah and for that uh, particularly for humanitarian crisis and human humanitarian context where uh, things are more challenging, you need to really work on your skills. And a management, a management, a managerial track, let's say, never ends. You never have, you never stop learning because there's so many facets to, to management and leadership. I mean, just to think about it, planning, motivating, um, giving feedback, 
managing your bosses, managing uh, uh, your, the, uh, your colleagues, your, uh, the other managers, uh, managing the information, managing uh, workloads, um, managing stress, managing productivity, managing your time, prioritization and decision making. Yeah, and then I could go on and on and on about all of the skills that make up um, what a manager does every day, you know, and there's different levels, obviously, of management. You, know? you can be managing one person or two people, or you can be managing uh, 60, 70, or hundreds of people, right? So the more, obviously, people you are managing, the more complexity you're managing, the more scale you're managing, the more stakes uh, in play, the better a manager you need to be and the better a leader you need to be to get everybody moving in the same direction, yeah? So... Um, here it's a uh, kind of a, the groundings, let's say, of management and leadership, but uh, we will also go into more advanced that takes people through the natural progression of an, an, a normal, let's say, managerial track career in any humanitarian organization. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you learn something. And remember, there's no point watching videos unless you apply the actual um, tips or advice or work, really work on your skills. So, I mean, every day that you get up and you're a manager or you're preparing to be a manager, you need to be thinking, okay, um, how am I going to approach this day? How am I, what am I, what, what am I team doing? What am I doing? What's my boss doing? Et cetera, et cetera. But we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. See you in the next one. Ciao.